Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm talking about the Ambient Lighting Powder blushes. So I've got one, two, and three. I got two of them over a week ago and then the other one arrived this week the radiant magenta for some reason was i guess out of stock but they were released a lot earlier than i thought they were going to be anyway i didn't think they were even going to be sent out until this week so i've been playing around with them and i thought i would show you what they look like you know use them today in my video but i've only got the three so i'll show you the three that i've got which is radiant magenta dim exposure no mood exposure and ethereal glow so i'll use the two pink ones first so the first one i'm going to use is ethereal glow you can see the difference in makeup when you've got no powder uh, blush on i think can't you i can't believe how pale i look so this is ethereal glow and it's just a beautiful cool pink combined with ethereal light ambient lighting powder so i'm going to use my inglot 3p blush and put this on my cheeks and then when i have finished showing you them I should have really thought about which one I was going to end up wearing but never mind so I did that one last I'll give you a little review anyway at the end so I you do need a couple of layers of this one because it is very very light so this is three layers so that is the ethereal glow and this one is my favorite I have to say and then next I'll put on Radiant Magenta, which looks like that. This one is the one that has the least blush in for me. So this one you can see it's got more blush than powder. This one has got more powder than blush. It's probably about 60% powder, 40% blush. And actually when I opened it, I did think, am I gonna send it back? Like, will I hold on to it until they come out in the shops, which is not for another week or two weeks, I think and go in and see if I can exchange it for one that's got more colour on. Because it was such a bright colour, I thought I would stick with this one, and also because I didn't want to wait two weeks. So um, this one is Radiant Magenta, and I'm going to put this on the other side. So that's just two. I don't think we need any more than two with the Radiant Magenta because it's actually quite a strong colour, as you can see. So that is radiant magenta on this side and ethereal glow on this side so you can see the difference that that one is a lot stronger because that one was just two layers and this one was actually three layers wasn't it so what i will do now is just dust off this one put some um, mineral foundation over the top and then we'll do mood exposure so i've blanked that one out again and the last one we're going to use is this one which is mood exposure and i'll just dust off that brush this one is more like a plum colour, but it doesn't, I don't think, come up plum on the cheeks. Um, and this one is mixed with Mood Exposure, which is a kind of lavender colour, the ambient powder. So you only need one layer of this. As you can see, it's pretty strong. In fact, that's probably even too much. So I'll just do a closer up for you so you can see it closely. Okay, so that is Radiant Magenta on this side and then Mood Exposure on this side. Now, I don't know whether you'll be able to see what I'm talking about when I say that I think they look almost identical on the skin. I don't know whether that will show up on camera. It'll be interesting for me to see, certainly in photos they do. Okay, so um, like I said, I the first thing I have noticed is I don't think the colours actually show up necessarily as they are described. So the ethereal glow is probably the one that does show up as close to the colour as it should. You know, I think this does look like a bright pink or a light cool pink on the skin. These two, however, I don't think looking at my cheeks that looks like a magenta colour, even though I can clearly see it is, but I think mixing it with the radiant light, it just comes off. I think it looks a little bit corally, but like I said, I don't know whether, whether it will come up like that on camera. And then this one is um, Mood Exposure that, again, I think comes up a little bit corally, which I've heard in a lot of other reviews said. It doesn't come up. It doesn't look to me like a plum. Plum is more like the NARS Sin would come up. But I think that these two colours look quite similar. I don't think you'd instantly look at me and think she's got different coloured blushes on. So that's my first kind of observation about them. So even with this one, the Ethereal Glow, I would say this one is the most true to colour when you put it on. It does look like a light, cool pink on your skin. But even with this one, towards the end of the day, it looks more like this and you can't see that you've got a light pink blush on. And I did wonder whether that was because I'm using my Too Faced Milk Chocolate um, bronzer 
and I've been using that a lot lately and I thought I wonder if it's mixing with that bronzer and that's kind of why it's happening so I thought well tomorrow then you know the following day I was trying it out I'll not use any bronzer at all and I used this one and again the same thing happened towards the end of the day it just seemed to have deepened up a little bit so I don't know what that's to do with and whether that's to do with this um you know the fact that it's mixed with a lighting powder no idea but that was a little bit of a disappointment because I think that these in the packaging look absolutely stunning I think they look stunning when they go on but they're not true to the colors but I think like I said sort of halfway through the day they look almost identical and they look a little bit they look to me a little bit corally and I don't know how the coral ones would come off it almost makes me want to try the coral ones because the other three colors that are out there are all coral um, all coral toned so it'll be interesting to see what they come out like but um, that aside that sounds like I don't like them I do absolutely love them I think they look really gorgeous on there's a very very um, light highlighting side to it so that's what I do love because I thought that they might be too kind of sparkly too glowy but they're not at all it's very very subtle and I think it does just give um, a bit of life to your face and the difference to me and my face between between when I didn't have any blusher on and now is is massive so I will really enjoy using all of these but I think I'll probably use this one the most even though it doesn't show up very much because it's my favorite color and this is the type of blush I would go for um, and then after that I will probably use this one even though I thought this one was going to be my favorite Let me just do some swatches for you so you can see um, swatching them that is the ethereal glow next is radiant magenta that's really kind of messing them up you can see really combining them and then this one is um, mood exposure so let me just swatch them on my hand and see what you can see that's the best way so that one is ethereal glow that one's radiant magenta and that one is mood exposure so actually on my hand they do look very individual don't so packaging wise they're actually a bit smaller than the hourglass ambient lighting powder so if I put that one on top of it you can see not by an awful lot but they are a little bit smaller and I'm glad of that I like the fact that they're smaller because um, I don't want anything bulky in my makeup bag and they're just about the right size I think for a blush the other thing about them is I've noticed they're very very powdery the radiant magenta one not so much this ethereal glow very very powdery and this one is a little bit powdery as well the mood exposure they are available now on the space nk website so you can order them online but i don't think they are in the shops until in fact i know they're not in the shops until thursday the i think it's the 27th of february that's what the lady told me because they're having a big event that you can buy tickets to etc to kind of release them but you can order them from the website and i got them delivered so i'm assuming you can get them delivered just now and in fact one of my viewers left a comment on the other uh, video that i did about the release date saying that she has one as well and they're 28 pounds so i thought they would be about 25 pound 28 pound isn't too bad i don't think considering these are 38 um and these are a little bit smaller but not a huge so amount. i guess that's everything i'd be interested to know what you guys think like can you see that these are different colors on my cheeks just now or do you agree with me do they look like the same color um because maybe it's just my kind of color blindness because there's some things like in the urban decay naked palette the naked three the black heart i just i can't see what's great about that color and everybody loves it um what else in the lorac pro rock pro palette there's a purple that just looks black to me so i wonder if it's just my i wonder if i've got some sort of problem looking at colors you know and i know everybody looks at colors differently but i'd be interested to know if you guys think these look completely different because this one is radiant magenta this one is mood exposure so um, i'd be interested to know what you guys think and let me know if you've bought them and what you think of them and like i said i don't I do love them I'm just a little bit disappointed that the colors aren't as true as what I expected them to be but I do love them I'm gonna keep on using them and I love that I have them in my collection I'm not tempted to buy the other three simply because they they're coral and I feel like I'm getting coral from these I'm getting a coral effect from these but I will certainly be having a look when they're out in the shops and going and swatching them and I might well buy another one. They are something that I would be happy to treat myself to. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you are thinking of buying them, I hope that that was some useful information for you. I hope it wasn't too negative because I do love them and I think most people out there love them as well. So uh, let me know how you get on if you buy them or if you have already bought them and I will speak to you again very soon.